The call of God is not I, but Christ in me. And that is our truth in the amazing journey of God's calling to the lost world for the glory of Jesus Christ by his free gift of grace through saving faith in him. We are not in this world to reform it as Jesus was not in this world to reform it. But we are here on his command to inform it of our Lord and Savior, who he was, what he did, what he is now doing, and who he is, and that he is coming. If the calling for us daily is for his glory, the voice is of God Almighty. The energy that propels us is of the Holy Spirit that we all received at the moment we believed on Jesus. The substance of what we have to say in truth are the words of Jesus in 66 books of the Bible. The key to his house is turned by the faith we received to believe. And the sweetness of it all is the grace that saved us, lived through us in his love. The result, written in the Lamb's Book of Life, remains forever. What we start in the here and now, in life abundant, hope eternal, anchored in Christ, assured, secure, unconditionally delivered after we first believed, needing washings daily for our sins, praying in the Holy Spirit, fulfilling His commands always, in his love. As our elder brother Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 13, we know this God-blessed truth. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, I am become as sounding bronze or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. Beloved, what we sow here together as his bride, his called out ones, his church, we will reap as one in eternity. We are a people, a church united by the completed work of Jesus Christ on the earth and his ongoing ministry above as the God-man and our high priest in the glory. It is he who keeps us saved. It's his blood that he pleads. His death that causes us to be saved and free of the judgment of sins. And it's our Father's plan that he be this for us. He washed the feet of his disciples and he's washing us up yonder in his blood daily. And the Father, our Father, forgives us when he sees us. He sees Jesus because he is our high priest and we are priests with him and he keeps us because he owns us and in him there is only victory and we are the victors through him. God help all of those who preach that our salvation is conditioned on something we do or don't do, on some sin we commit or don't commit, 
on some law that we keep or don't keep. God help them who teach these lies. Beloved, we were known to God and chosen for his only begotten Son, who in our time was given to us who believe God. As our great God and Savior Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 27 to 30, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life. And they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Beloved, Jesus Christ is our love gift given to us by our Father, God Almighty, whose children we are. No one, no one is able to pluck us out of our Father's hand. Jesus Christ says so. Amen. Beloved, God knows the beats of our heart. He knows the number of our days. Our life is in His hands. Our departure, He will oversee. And though our body is weary and heaviness weighs us down, He comforts us in His love. And though we are in pain, He soothes us in His grace and in the presence of enemies, no matter what outfits they wear, he overshadows us. And his every word in the Bible is truth. And he will raise us up forever. Lord, because of you, we live forever. Because of you, no one else will do. Because of you, we have a reason. In your great love, Lord, because of you. Because of you, life never ending. Because of you, our faith abides. How could we hate when hope rejoices? No worldly fame could claim our joy. For when we see your majesty awaken, the gift of life, Lord, a world begun because of you, the heavens glory. Because of you, the stars still shine. Because of you, life has a meaning. Because of you, Lord, our Father's Son. Beloved, may God richly bless you in your walk in Christ Jesus from now unto forever. <laughs>